Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about a factoring technique wherein ang focus natin today is on how to factor a perfect square trinomial. This one is an example of perfect square trinomial. We have x squared minus 10x plus 25. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Yung mga students natin, uh, madali na lang nilaman if the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial by checking the first and the last terms. Pero hindi lagi siyang ganun nangyayari, guys. Ha? Tandaan yan. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan niya, ibig sabihin on how to factor out a perfect square trinomial, let's dig deeper with these given examples. And then, later on, we will talk about this main problem. In item number 1, we are given dx squared plus 6x plus 9. We're in, check natin yung first term, if this is a perfect square trinomial. Perfect square. x squared is a perfect square. 9 is also a perfect square. Pero check natin mamaya kung tunay ba na ito ay perfect square trinomial. Pero ang tanong dito, sige, sabihin ko na sa inyo. So, paano ba, ba namin malilaman if the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial? If yung coefficient ng first term mo ay 1, nakabase lang yan sa first term mo. Look, the square root of 9 is 3. Then multiply it by 2. Dapat ang lalabas ay itong coefficient in your middle term. Okay, so the square root of 3, of 9 is 3, times 2, that is equal to 6. So definitely, number 1 is perfect square trinomial. Now, we are ready to get its factors. First, mag-prepare ko lang ng dalawang sets of parentheses. The square root of x square is equal to x. Lagyan mo dito x and x. The square root of the last term is 9. But the square root of 9 is 3. Nalagay mo dito sa, sa dulo, the last terms will be 3 and 3. Now, to finalize your answer, copy the sign of your middle term, which is plus. This is plus and plus. And as you can see, this, are, this now are the factors of your the given perfect square trinomial. We have the factors x plus 3 times x plus 3. By the way guys, as you can see, the factors are the same. Meaning, we can also express this bilang ganito. x plus 3 square. Since they are the same. So, another form is this. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have x squared minus 18x plus 81. So, let's prepare first in the long sets of the parentheses. Okay? The square root of x squared is x. So, the first terms of your factors is x and x. Then, get the square root of 81. The square root of 81, guys, is equal to 9. So, this is 9 and 9. So the question here, what will be the operation between the first term and the last term of your factors? Copy the sign of your, the second, of your second term, which is minus and minus. Meaning, the factors are x minus 9 times x minus 9. And if you want to express this in sim more simplified form, you can express this as x minus 9 raised to the second power. And these are the possible factors of your item number 2. And now for number 3, we are given here x squared minus 12x plus 6. This will be your assignment. I want to see your answer in our comment section. Okay? Comment your answer. So let's move on with item number 4. For number 4... We have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. This one is an example of perfect square trinomial. To get the square root of it, or to get the factors of it, get the square root of your first term. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. The square root of your last term, 9, is equal to 3. Now, prepare your parentheses. Write 2x as your first terms, and 2x here. Write 3, and 3 here. Then copy 
the sign of your second term, which is plus. plus. Therefore, the factors are simply 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. Or, you can also express this in as square of binomial, that is 2x plus 3 raised to the second power. So we are done with item number 1, 2, and 4. And don't forget your assignment, guys. So let's move on with the main problem. In our main problem, you are asked to factor x squared minus 10x plus 25. So let's apply what we have learned from the previous examples. Prepare your parentheses. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 25 is 5 and 5. Copy the sign of your middle term which is minus and minus. And these are the factors of it guys. By the way, if you want to check your answer whether it's correct, you can do the FOIL method and reverse the process. And what will happen after doing the FOIL method, It this will be the answer. Okay? Another possible way is x minus 5 raised to the second power. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to do or, or on how to factor perfect square trinomials. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!